How far do Docker containers scale? Large applications and web deployments like Google and Twitter and platform providers such as Heroku and DotCloud. All run on container technology. Containers can be scaled to hundreds or thousands. Or even millions of them running in parallel, which is not possible with non-container technology. So, what is containerization? Usually code developed on one machine might not work optimally on a different machine because of dependencies. The problem was solved by containerization where the application is bundled together with the dependencies and libraries in the form of container. Docker is a containerization platform which packages your application and all of its dependencies together in the form of containers. So as to ensure that your application works seamlessly in any environment, be it development or test or production. Docker containers wrap a piece of software in a complete file system that contains everything needed to run including the code. System libraries, runtime, system tools. It wraps anything that can be installed on a server. Docker file builds a Docker image, which contains all the project's codes. You can run that image to create as many Docker containers as you want. The created images can be uploaded on Docker Hub from where the image can be pushed and built in a container. Docker image is a source of container. In other words, Docker images are used to create containers. When a user runs the Docker image, an instance of the container is created. Touch Docker file. Then, add the following content, from Ubuntu. Maintainer Joe. Run apt-get update. CMD echo high world. Build a Docker image with Docker file. The basic syntax used to build an image using a Docker file is. To build a Docker image, you would therefore use, Docker build, location of your Docker file. To run a Docker container based on this image. To do that we are going to use the docker run command. Hashtag docker run image name. To open an interactive terminal and connect to the container, run. Hashtag docker run at dimage name. Let's look at some more basic docker commands. To list all the running containers. Docker PS. To remove a container. Run the docker rm command. Docker rm container id. We should also find a way so that our terminal is not attached to the running container. This way, you can happily close your terminal and keep the container running. This is called detached mode. $docker run dp name static site test site slash static site. D14 D12 29, 2D69556 EA, B4 F954, 38E504AF, B7 B02818. Docker container prune. Hashtag suppose you have three containers running and out of these you wish to access one of them. How do you access a running container? Docker exec at container ID bash it stands for interactive terminal. Hashtag start, stop and kill a container docker. Start container ID. Docker stop. Container ID. Docker kill. Container ID. Note, if you're using Docker toolbox, then you might need to use Docker machine IP default to get the IP. You can also specify a custom port to which the client will forward connections to the container. Dollar Docker run p8888 colon 80 test site slash test site. Docker hub or registry is a place where you can store the Docker containers. To get a new Docker image you can either get it from a registry or a Docker hub or create your own. There are tens of thousands of images available on Docker hub. You can also search for images directly from the command line using Docker search.